Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another wonderful day in the city of Yarnum. Nikki Nugthorpe is ready for action and ready for some play. Alright, so when last we left off, we killed a bunch of rats down that way, this unfortunate soul here, and got ourselves some new swag. Uh, I actually really like the. Uh, what is this called again? The. Okay, it's just the hunter set, not the young hunter. Okay. Well, we are going to jump down onto this beam here, hopefully. If not, it could hurt. Okay. And then over down to this. No, no. Nope. Oh no. That hurt a little bit. Grab this. Dead body's not dead. Run this way. Up this ladder. I would stick around and kill those, but they actually hit fairly hard, and I just don't want to deal with that right now. Not at all. We're gonna go over here later, because that way it's a very, very nice weapon that I much prefer, and we'll be swapping my threaded cane for. This right here I really like because it gives us insight to the more Lovecraftian elements of Bloodborne. Um, I guess it's, yeah, it's under consumables and dumb. Alright. The skull of a madman touched by the wisdom of the great ones used to gain insight. Making contact with eldritch wisdom is a blessing, for even if it drives one mad, it allows one to serve a grander purpose for posterity. Now, it mentioned Great Ones and the word Eldritch. Very Lovecraftian, because Eldritch refers to something that is beyond human capacity to understand. It is maddening to know, insane to find out, blah blah blah, so on and so forth. And Lovecraft had a series of gods known as the Elder Ones, and so that the fact that it says Great Ones is a nod again to Lovecraft. Let's head over here and talk to yet another, you know, less than useful NPC. Wretched outsider. Trying to fool me to open this door. Maybe. Heaven's depths of depravity. I just wanted to see what you were doing, but fine, whatever. Up this ladder here. This will open up a shortcut as well as give us a conversation piece with uh, a wonderful little girl. Alright, let's talk to her. Are you? I know that smell. Are you a hunter? And that is where I look for my mom. Daddy never came back from the hunt. And she went to find him, but now she's gone too. I'm all alone and scared. We'll find your mama for you. Really? Oh, thank you. My mum was a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and, and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mum, give her this music box. We'll it do plays a little one of bit. Daddy's favourite songs. And when Daddy forgets us, we play it for him so he remembers. Mom's so silly when I'm up without it. She sounds silly. Anyway, let's read that music box here. A small music box received from a young Yarnum girl plays a song shared by her mother and father. Inside the lid is a small scrap of paper, perhaps an old message. Two names can be made out, however faint. Viola and Gascoigne. And, uh, we'll be running into Gascoigne in a little bit. Don't you worry about that. We will be running into Gascoigne. Alright. Um, oh, we can actually go and get uh, the saw spear. I actually, I think I'll get that now. Um, I can't 
put this dog over here? Yeah, okay, I killed that. So we're actually pretty set right now. Old bitch over there. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry, she's not a bitch. She's just a really, really crappy old lady who could stand to be a little nicer to strangers. Pick up some cold blood. Yep, that was a cold blood too. Now, here, you can either slash at the chains holding the body, or you can do... Yeah, if you line it up just right, you can shoot it, and I'm not really sure if I'm too far here, you try. I don't think I can do it just right. Whatever. Semi easy medium hardware. Oh shit, no. Oh god. This happened a little faster than I wanted it to. Whoa, that went well. <laughs> oh man, that could have gone better. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I just realized they added, uh, item descriptions in place of the load screens now, like in Dark Souls. So, is that to... Well, did they lower load times, or did they just add these to make them less boring? Oh, no, they shortened up to... Ooh! We sent her all the way back here to the a clinic. Actually, let's use her blood vial real quick, because she's got some dialogue uh, after using it a few times. Yeah. Alright, it's easy. You are safe. Thank goodness. Well, if I die, but, but I'm afraid safe. nothing will change. I cannot open the door. Open it! I'll do what I can, of course. Perhaps this will help you, if only in some small way. Another now go. Don't tell me what to do. I pray for your safety. But yeah, she gives us another blood vial of hers, and after you use about ten, I can't remember, I'm not sure. Um, Epic Name Bro has better information on that in his videos, but either way, it's not so bad. So, we're gonna have to fight our way back here. I know. Uh, ooh! No, 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 no. No, no, no. Ow, ow, ow! Okay. Yeah, away, away. Um. There's a shortcut on the other side of the planet there, but I can't remember how to get to it. I don't remember if I ever. Of course, there's all these dogs again. Yeah. Oh, 
games. Oh no. Die. The dogs are perhaps the sequel to most video games. Dogs. Love them in real life. Now, let's try this again. First of all, let's get this asshole out of There we go. That's always actually a really good combo to use. Some blood vials. Woo! Healing up. I say as I don't heal. Anyway. Right, we all go through with the all. I don't like that the screen gets darker whenever you retrieve your blood echoes, but whatever, that's just me. And let's talk to this NPC. Oh, a hunter, are you? And an outsider? What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here, to welcome the new hunter. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. Oh. Still lingering about. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. No. No matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're little different from the beasts themselves. Yeah, there's what I wanted. We just got a great new gesture, which I'm going to now show off. Love it. Uh, that just looks so cool. And she also gave us some items, the Bolt Hunter's Mark. Which are essentially homeward bones in this game. Dangling upside down room etched in the mind of a hunter. The image upon this parchment allows one to envision the room with clarity. Allows a hunter to awaken again without losing blood echoes. A trick that seems nearly too good to be true. Huh, I haven't read that before, but that nearly too good to be true. Like, that's really ominous, I think. Not sure I like that. That's that's a really ominous. Okay, well, um I'm gonna heal up here and then drop down and hopefully I don't mess this trick up, but there we go. Um to veterans of FromSoft games, if you roll or backstep right after the drop, you won't go through the animation of your character bending on you off, and you'll be able to move. So it's been that. Ooh! Ooh! Mr. Musket Man over there almost got us. Ow! I meant to roll and avoid that. Whatever. He's dead. There's blood everywhere. One vial. Like I said, blood everywhere. Good silver bullets. Let's transform this back into a cane. We're gonna sneak up on this asshole. We'll get that item in a second, right after we sneak up this asshole. Really want this case. Surprise! Oh, thanks for the kidney, buddy. I already know I needed it. Let's don't charge. Right. This is the saw spear open. Drop down. Okay, we're fine. Couple rats. Not too much of a problem. Let's say. There we go. Yeah. Threaded cane and you can 
we're sauce you. Uh, I love this. It's a dex weapon. It's essentially the dex version of the soft cleaver. Uh, the soft cleaver is more of a quality weapon, which means it works just as well with uh, strength and skill. But and this is definitely much more of a skill. I'm just fine with that. I love its moveset a lot more than the uh, soft cleaver. Throwing knife and an nice knife back there. Not bad. Oh, crap. I forgot to clear the area out ahead of us. So I'm hoping I can shut the ass out of my head. Seems to happen every time I don't clear this area out. I get shot right in the ass. Let's watch. Oh, wow. I. Ooh. I was about to say, I get, I get shot in the ass. <laughs> As Epic Name Pro would say, need a strategy, why not Zillberg? Ow, ow. Evasive action. That's not what I wanted. Heal! I'm so used to hitting square for essence, but I forgot it was trying. Yay! Yeah. Ah, nice try, Essence. My turn. Ah, God, I love this game. It's great. I mean, it's definitely very, very different from Dark Souls, and it takes a little getting used to, but it looks so pretty. I just love the Lovecraftian overcomes. Now we've got some more birds over here. Yeah, I know. A lot of birds. Then we have this guy, who for whatever reason is in a barrel. Well, I don't like birds, and I don't like barrels. So, yeah. <sighs> and, yeah, I think we should be able to keep the hair in this one. And hopefully we can kill him. But, uh, I actually plan on going back to Hunter's Dream and, uh, uh, no, we won't level up just yet. And, oh, that's something I forgot to mention earlier after we did the, uh, Bad Man's Knowledge. Um, it said you could gain insight from doing it. What insight does, uh, you can't level unless you have a point of insight. And you get insight from using Madman's knowledge, and also, um, when you first see a boss, you'll get a point of insight, and then after killing the boss, you get three points of insight. So a boss can give you a maximum of four points of insight. Uh, I don't know where else I was going with that, but yeah, a boss can give you a maximum of four points of insight. And there is actually a special messenger that opens up in the uh, Hunter's Dream at 10 Insight. And once you fall below 10 Insight, it's closed again. But once you have 10 Insight, you can buy items from that messenger. So, I think that's a cool little addition. You have to have so many of an item before the shop will open. And, uh, but yeah, like I said, once you fall below 10 insight, it closes again. So you're not able to go in, buy stuff, leave, and then turn right back around and buy something. Yeah. And if you buy from them, you have to buy everything you want. Um, we're gonna cut a little tour this way before we go to Claire. Pick up another bloodstone shard, which will be useful for leveling. Watch out for these ghouls, there's some ghouls on the rafters. Anyway, once you get to this tunnel, you like your stamina heal, because that big shadow down there. And run down the tunnel. You better run. Alright, and... Oh, that went wrong. Come on. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
battled after. Ow, God. Stop it. This is going wrong. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Proctology! Saw Hunter Badge, which is what we came for, some blood vials. And cold blood beef. Oh, uh, no, we actually don't want to go that way just yet. We're gonna run back down this tunnel. Well, while we're at it, that actually really hurt. That did not go as well as I hoped it would, but still. Any truck tunnel. I don't know what it is with Frumsoft pigs, but in every game. Is the pig. Uh, man, that's just. That's nasty. I need to wipe my hand on something. The Miggy is just covered in blood right now. It's wonderful. Uh, oh, there's the uh, shortcut. Well, not the shortcut, but it's a shortcut for the later in the Oh, man. This is so. So wonderful right now. Some trolls over here. Alright. Oh, that didn't go well. Come on, one of you. Visceral! Oh, I'm glad I pulled that off before he came along. Mm. Oh, that didn't work. Heal. Heal some more. There we go. And got the punch. Oh god, why are you still alive? That's not okay. I love that it's on the past. Bullet bio. Okay. Well should we can't level yet, so. Oh, we're gonna have to get bullets off the gun. So. Yeah, I guess we could use that man's knowledge to level up and then upgrade our saw spear. And then we can go and fight the uh, wonderful, wonderful cleric beast, who we heard scream in the first episode. But I couldn't go into much detail because I forgot I didn't have a weapon and attacked some hollows. Hollows. Villagers. <laughs> Let's use Mad Max Knowledge. Awesome! Cool, so we have one insight right now. Uh, I would talk to Garmin, but I don't care enough. Fortify the Saw Spear. Plus two. Um, okay, so I can't fortify that. So we've got a plus two Saw Spear right now, so that's not too bad. This was once a safe haven for hunters. A workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. You don't say. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. I may just take you up on that. Should it please you. Whoa, buddy, that's... That's a little creepy. So we're just gonna walk away. Yeah, an abandoned doll. I guess I needed insight before I came here, but whatever. Let's go back to Central Yarnum and take on the Cleric Priest. I don't see this going well, but... Eh. We can always try. We can always try. It's actually a rather tough first boss. Like, Dark Souls is normally pretty, pretty forgiving on the first one. I mean, the Asylum Demon, eh, yeah. Taurus Demon, pretty easy. The Last Giant was a pushover. 
so I don't know. But uh, Cleric Beast is rough. And I don't even want to get started on the second boss. And those of you who have played, you know who the second boss is. Those of you who haven't, I'm not spoiling anything. Hey, Grandad. Bye, Grandad. Uh, now nah, I'll just wait until right before we go to Cleric Beast to equip some. Yeah. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Don't look at me. I'm a refined old gentleman, and I love it. It's so crunchy, I love it. <laughs> okay. That's actually a piece of this. This roll. Blood vial. And before we walk through that shit storm, uh, we don't need a pebble right now. Whale urn, all the dogs, and it can't hurt to have use up with blood vial. All right. Well, let's do it. There he is, jumping down just like a tourist. If you shoot him in the face twice with the pistol and once at very, very close range with the uh, Hunter Gator bus, you can actually get a pistol up on him. But uh, it's not a one time thing, but it is until he heals again. Alright, there we go. Nice damage. But now we can't do it until he stands still and does his uh, little shriek thing. Oh, nope. Oh, that really hurt. Ah. Yeah, like I said, I don't see this going very well. But we're going to. We're gonna kill him. We're gonna do it. This episode is gonna go until we kill Cleric Beast. Ugh. Man. Oh, I didn't know there was poison heads in this game. That's cool. Yay! We can not love them because I don't have blood echoes. Damn it! Oh well. Ah, <laughs> uh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Okay. That could have gone a lot better. But still, not not too bad. I at least was able to showcase the visible. Cleric Beast is a rather tough first boss, but Molotovs and oil urns help a lot. And I honestly should have opened with that and been a little more cautious about standing around under his feet, but that's near here. Yeah. Don't care if he dropped an item or not. Down. I don't care about Grand Magic to shoot him because I have got this whole world. I don't know what that's from, but every now and again, in my head, it's like an old guy, just an old man, who's holding up a silver bullet and says, You can kill it with this still Heal for the love of God, heal. Uh, that did not work out. Deal. God damn it. Nope. Whew. Okay, that was... That was dicey. Uh. And now we can go through the fog! Yeah. The nightmare fog. Absolutely. I forgot how to one more. 
Molotov! Does a lot of damage. Boiler. Ow. No, no, no. Heal. Molotov! Cut the face. Cut the face. Visceral! Boiler. Yeah, that's green right there. Molotov. Or not. Molotov. Face. Uh, ow. Running now. Running now. Running now. Heal. Heal. second time went a lot better, even though I missed quite a few of those Molotovs, but that went a lot better. Not too shit. I'm kind of sad there's not a Souls option anymore, but oh! Actually, let's uh, read the Saw Hunter and Sword Hunter badge real quick. Badge crafted long ago at the workshop. Attest to one's prowess as a hunter of beasts. The workshop is gone, and no group recognizes this meeting, this badge, except the messengers and the bath, who understand its profundity. Certain things can only be entrusted to a hunter in possession of this badge, or so they believe. Sword Hunter Badge One of the badges crafted by the Healing Church. The silver sword is a symbol of a church hunter. Ludwig was the first of many Healing Church hunters to come. Many of them were clerics. As it was, clerics transformed the most hideous beasts. And there's that. Oh, um, there was something else that I didn't read. Saw Spear. I didn't read it. So, let's do that. One of the trick weapons of the workshop, commonly used by those who dedicate themselves to the hunt. This saw, effective at drawing the blood of beasts, transforms into a medium range spear. The saw, with its set of bloodletting teeth, has become a symbol of the hunt and only grows in effectiveness the more grotesquely transformed the beast. Alright. Hello, good hunter. Hi. I am a doll. Here in this dream to look after you. Uh -huh. Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes of blood. Damn right I will. And I will channel them into your strength. Yay. Wait, does she you have a slight accent? These and I will be here for you. She has a slight accent. your sickly spirit. 
Huh. She has a slight, uh, Very well. Let the European echoes accent. become your strength. All right. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Okay. Let's raise arcane to ten. Vitality. Endurance to fourteen. Let's do that. 11 Vitality, 15 Endurance, 9 Strength, 15 Skill, 7 Blood Tinge, and 11 Arcane. That works. Farewell, good hunter. What is this? May you find your worth in the waking world. Oh, I will. Oh, okay. That's the news of the uh, multiplayer items. Oh, I actually have uh, some... You know what, I'll just use my cold blood do at the beginning of the next video. Anyway, later.